Welcome. My name is Andy, and in the last two videos on our channel here at Tim Medical, I shared some of my own personal challenges with erectile dysfunction. It happened about seven years ago, and I noted in the last video that a lot of it was about lifestyle choices and how I was eating, how much I was drinking, and some other decisions I was making about exercise, and I just really wasn't in a healthy place. And it happened to come at a time that I also started working for Tim Medical Technology. So the combination of change in lifestyle, but also being introduced to the vacuum erection device was a big uh, gain for me. And as I was making those changes in my own lifestyle, I also began to employ the vacuum erection device. I figured if I'm gonna to talk to men and doctors about these devices, I probably should know how they work. So I began using the device, different devices that we have, and I found that just the gain of building an erection, even though my body was still catching up on the health front, building those erections consistently was a big win for me, not only physically, but also emotionally. Now I'm talking to you here today, not as a doctor, not as a therapist, but as someone who struggled with erectile dysfunction about seven years ago and have made some choices and decisions and got to a healthier place, but I'm also aware as I sit with men in doctor's offices, talk on the phone with men, answer emails, that there are a lot of emotions that go on when it comes to erectile dysfunction for us as men, but also if we're in a relationship with our partners. So I wanna talk about some of the emotions that my partner was experiencing, and I know this because we talked about it, and may, these may not be what your partner's experiencing, but it is something that's worth, at the very least, bringing to the surface, talking about, and seeing that it may be a way to help you move in the direction of being fully functional on the erectile front, even if it's using a vacuum erection device, oral medication, the veno seal, or any other therapy that your doctor and you have come together and said, this is probably a really good option to try. At least trying it and being open and honest with your partner about doing so could be a very good thing for you. So some of the emotions my partner and maybe your partner's experiencing when it comes to your erectile dysfunction. Here are some of the things your partner may be struggling with if you are battling with erectile dysfunction. Concern. Your partner may be genuinely concerned about your well-being, your health. A second emotion a partner may feel is confusion. I mean, understanding the causes and implications of erectile dysfunction can be confusing. They may wonder if they are somehow responsible or if there's something they could be doing differently. A third emotion is frustration. If your intimacy is affected, your partner might feel frustrated, disappointed. You may feel those same things. And that frustration can stem from a desire for physical intimacy, a sense of closeness that may be impacted by those challenges that come with erectile dysfunction. A fourth emotion is self-blame. I think some partners may erroneously blame themselves for their man's condition, thinking they're not attractive enough or they're not doing something right or maybe doing things wrong in the relationship. And then there's that fear of rejection. A partner may worry that a man's erectile dysfunction could lead to that loss of intimacy or a decline in the emotional connection that's so important in a relationship. There might be a fear of rejection if the man is avoiding or hesitant when it comes to sexual activity. And then there's empathy. Many partners will likely feel empathy for the man and the difficulties that they're facing. But if the man doesn't allow them into those emotions and those conversations, then it's again leads to frustration. And then finally, the communication challenges that come. Discussing the issue openly can be challenging for both partners. There might be a fear of hurting feelings, making the situation worse, or simply not knowing how to approach the topic. Now I can tell you, concern, confusion, frustration, self-blame, fear of rejection, empathy, communication challenges, all of those seven I experienced, my partner experienced. And I know this because we talked about it. We didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to ignore it and just put it off and not just bring it to the surface. But I had to be vulnerable, had to be open and honest. And I think that's one of the questions you have to ask yourself is, how open, how honest and vulnerable will I be in this? Will it build a relationship? Will it weak in the relationship? Those are questions you have to ask yourself. I'm not a therapist, I'm not your doctor, I'm just telling you, for me it was bringing it to the surface, not making it the center of every conversation we had, but just saying, I'm, I'm struggling with this. I went to the doctor, here are the numbers, here's what I need to do, and allow my partner to partner with me in those things and grow. 
I want you to know when we say that you're not alone when it comes to struggling with erectile dysfunction, I mean it. There are a lot of men worldwide who struggle with it, but if you're in a relationship, you're really not alone. And it is one of those things that you have to ask yourself, will this build the relationship? Will it take away from the relationship? How will I deal with this? I encourage you, talk to your doctor, get some solutions, seek therapy for your erectile dysfunction. I don't know which one will work best for you. I can tell for me, and the reason I love working with Tim Medical Technologies, these vacuum erection devices, I found them to be a safe option, very healthy in that growth process of changing my lifestyle, changing my consumption, exercising more, and then building erections consistently with a vacuum erection device got me to the place where I am today. So if you have questions, you can reach us at education at timmedical.com. If you're interested in pursuing more information about the vacuum erection device, timmedical.com, and just go there and check it out. We can help, we'd love to help.